Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to try to make our apple look a little more natural with some dents and flat places and things like that using the sculpting tools. And this technique of course is good for any of the pieces of fruit we're going to make. So let's start by hiding our plane. We don't need it anymore. Let's just check the little eye in the scene outliner. And the sculpting tools can be found up here in your modeling ribbon as long as you have an editable poly selected. And depending on what mode you're in, you get different tools up here. Uh, let's select Freeform. And there are some really interesting tools in here that we should probably make more use of. You can do all sorts of things in here. One of the fun ones is this little branches button. If you click that and then click on your geometry, you can bring out these branches. And that's kind of fun. Good for making trees and tentacles and things. But what we're interested in right now is the push-pull brush. So let's go ahead and click that. And this will allow us to push out parts of our geometry. See, I just made some sort of lumps in the geometry there. And if you hold down Shift, it will push it in. Now, I'm going to smooth this apple shape when I'm done. So what I want to do here is um, scroll down in my editable poly settings here and find use NERMS subdivision and when I do that actually smooths it for me and this is sort of like a smooth preview and I'm also going to uncheck show cage so I don't see that um, orange outline anymore and I still have soft selection turned on you can see that right there so I'm going to turn that off And if you don't have ISO line display checked, you'll get a lot of a lot of a lot more geometry than you probably really want to look at. And you can also separate things by smoothing groups. You can add more iterations, you know, all that sort of thing. Now, when we're doing this, the uh, actual the edged faces and all of that is kind of gets in the way. So let's go ahead and turn off edged faces, and then let's also make sure over here that we are at the top level, so we don't see any edges or vertices or anything. We just want to see the smooth surface. And then let's come over here to the uh, settings for this tool. And I'm going to increase the size of the brush. Twice as big as it was. Maybe even bigger. You can also increase the strength of the effect, but I think I'm going to leave that as it is right now. And I'm just going to sort of pull it out in spots. See those are just too lumpy. I'm going to try indenting it in a couple of places. And I'm just barely clicking the apple here. I don't want it to look too bad. And if you get something you don't like, just undo it. I think I'm going to need the brush to be much larger. Even something like 80 maybe. Yeah, that's more like it. And I'm going to try to knock down the strength somewhat here by about half. Yeah, that's much better. So just go around and maybe make a couple of flat places and a, you know, a couple of lumps. And you don't want to click a lot. You don't want to hold your mouse down much. You just want to just sort of click because watch what happens if you hold it down a lot it just goes in more and more and more and you don't want it to look rotten you just want it to look natural and I think that's probably good enough now all we were trying to do here is just add a little more of a natural look more randomness to this uh, apple so I'm going to go ahead and close this tool this is the ISO line display settings right here and when we come back in the next video, we're going to create the stem for our apple. And I'll see you then.